What's up guys? Terry inside this very old kind of hotel, but it's more like a tavern type inn. It's, it looks like a freaking house. This place is falling apart, so we gotta watch our step and be cautious. This is where stuff can get dangerous. Um, it opened up in like the really early 1980s, but it just closed because of just no business. We are really in the middle of nowhere. It's that simple. Let's do it. Yeah, this place is just full of freaking dust and dirt. Look at this. This whole place is probably gonna cave in soon. I don't think it's gonna survive this winter. That's for sure. It's freezing outside, by the way. Let's get out of the basement. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like I'm in Resident Evil 7. Every, t every step I take, the whole freaking house is shaking. Jeez. It so reminds me of, like Silent Hill. Like I see that every time, but like seriously, think about it. The bridge we crossed, the snow, the bar, just like in Silent Hill 1. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, I'll shut up. Dude, random toys here. What is this? Donald Duck grapefruit juice, and it's still full. Look how you have to open these things. What is this? It's still full. I wonder how alive this place was back in the day. Hands down, this place is a gem. Like, I'm so glad I got to go here. <clears throat> Damn, we have jukeboxes just sitting here. So cool. I wish I came here before. Back when it was alive, gotta sit back. Yeah, this whole place is literally slanted right now. some part of the fireplace. There's definitely gonna be a bunch of just old utensils and probably tools and notes and letters here. It's like time has frozen. I wonder if any other bottles are still full. That still has some in it. A lot of stuff still does. Ah. Wow. These cans. Okay, let's leave this little bar slash restaurant. So much stuff is here. Look at all these antiques, man. That's a weird chair. There's a mirror on the top of it. It's completely vintage. Does that remind you of like the purge? Yeah, like the purge, like, I don't know, like an apocalypse, you know? <laughs> Dude, this is definitely a really sick that? spot. Wait, what? Did you see that? No way. Dude. I can't believe this stuff is just all sitting here. Thank God nobody came in and like stole it. I don't think many people know about this place. This is a very, very like unique spot. But to have all this stuff still sitting here, thank God, makes this place really special. This place has character to it. There's so much stuff here. Is this an old radio? I remember, yeah, oh my god. It is. Back in the day, man, people would like 
turn on the radio and just sit in front of it. That's that's literally what was their entertainment at night. It's huge. Piano. So many books. But I gotta remind you guys, this is a hotel, by the way. So this was like their living room and stuff. Man, this hotel, like this hotel, super old. Some old guys came. Definitely taking my time here. I gotta see everything. I might miss something that's so cool here for all I know. Yeah. Whoa. This is how you know no teenager or kids have been here. This is all still intact, which means no one has even thrown any of this off or smashed it on the ground. Not even a single glass on the ground. This place is perfect. Man, I wish I could explore more of these often. These are fun house type places just be careful from caving in man yeah man I'm not falling to the floor <laughs> old school bikes uh, nothing maybe this is where they stored every chair for sure we're going through people's rooms now They had very typical, like, bedrooms, simple bedrooms they would stay in. Yes, this is awesome. Such a, like, Victorian place. I don't mind sleeping in one of these, these are nice. Carpet rolled up. I forgot to tell you guys that this place connects to another building. So there's a connection. So on the first floor, we will literally connect to another building, which is going to be great. So who knows what's in that one? Could be just more hotel rooms, probably. On the top floor now, all I can see is just typical rooms still, and there's not much in these. Just the same layout that we've seen on the second floor. I still appreciate the fact that this furniture and everything is still left here. So we have an idea of how this place, you know, was set up before. I honestly don't get this. You open the door and you just fall out. Yo, a rocking chair horse. This one's really old. Remember just last video we seen a bunch of rocking chair horses. It's kind of cool that we see another one. But this one looks really different. It's like it's first generation model. So huge and bulky. Completely random and a little bit off topic, but I wish people watched my vlogs like my traveling videos and just chilling videos Just as much as they watch my abandoned videos and exploring because I mean I'm, I'm technically exploring when I travel But I understand these are definitely cooler, but still it would help me out a lot
saw a picture of what this place used to look like, this dining hall. It's a little bit blurry, but you can see. So sick. It's really interesting to see how the hell this place has become from day one to now. And here's the bar. What? That's so crazy. The difference is you can definitely see. Just teleported to the next building that's connected to this one. What's over here? Seems like this is a place for like artists. You see these? Yeah, look at the paintbrushes too. Definitely. Yeah, it looks like a, um, could be like an art studio for sure. Someone's painting right there. It's dusty in here. Dude, this place is falling apart too. Whoa. Take a look at this room. See how it has the paintings on the walls? That's awesome. What? This place is just desecrated though. Yeah. That's that's cool though, yeah. It's like this whole room was like an art piece, like an art gallery. I'm coming dude, I'm following you. This place is so sick. Oh. Look at this place. Oh my god. What the hell is hey, going on? Just run all over the walls. Dude, it's like the Joker was here. It's all laughing. Yeah, look at look at this one. It looks like it's like ah ha ha. This is crazy, man. Or like the freaking uh, Blair Witch, dude. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> yeah. what it's like. These hallways are a lot more dirtier than the last one. Room thirteen. So far, everything's been an art project. What the hell? Obviously the first building we went to where it was a lot more like cleaner. Maybe um, this one was just like, like screw it. We'll keep the first one running. This one, they'll just leave it. All I could think of about this place is that when the hotel closed for good, they just took one of these houses and, cause it's, it's two buildings, but it's connected, but they just took one of them and just, I don't know, just freaking painted all over and made it into a, like a fun house. I just noticed there's a teddy bear on the floor. For some reason, this place creeps me out. It's like a mansion, it's amazing here. Oh. The heck? Found bunnies. My pants are literally, dude. Look at that room. I don't know what's in there. We gotta find out. I feel like, oh my god. I really feel like this is like the a killer's like fun house. Like clowns were living here. That's the it's so weird here. Yeah. I'm just going right into that room. Oh, it even turns down. Understand, Danny. Yep. Come here. Someone stapled her. I don't know what happened. What? They took baby clothes and they sh they put it all over the ceilings. What's wrong with these people, dude? Dude, this is totally a killer clown's house. This is <laughs> this is like the craziest <laughs> place this ever. Nuts. Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. Who would even have all these random baby clothes? Yeah. Suicide is your only birthright. The hell? Dude, I don't know.
girl's dress. I think that's it, everyone. We explored it all. This place is just like almost like a big old mansion with just tons of rooms. Um, what I'm disappointed about is that people who have came here before and just destroyed it. Um, I would really like to see how it was in its prime days. It disappoints me that people actually come here to just screw things up and just vandalize. If people didn't vandalize, all this would be so cool to explore and, and, people, and people who steal too. Like for us, we come here to document the abandoned places, to see it, to just you know hold its history. Because when this place gets knocked down, who knows what's gonna be here. No one's gonna know what was here before. So it's good. I, I, I love coming to all these places so I can at least keep its memory alive and have a video and documented it. All right, anyways, um, I guess I'm ending it here. Yeah? yeah. Just me and Danny today. Just us two, John and Cody and everyone else is gone. Yep. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm exploring with Josh. Exploring with Danny. And we're out of this joint. I'm out of here, man. Keep watching these videos. Oh, Watch wait a minute. Crazy clown. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyways, I forgot to say something, actually. With all the crazy stuff going on in YouTube now, the subscribe button doesn't really work as good as it used to. I don't know what's going on, but now there's a bell on the side of it. Click that bell if you do support my videos and you like them and you want to watch more. The bell is just as good, if not better, than the subscribe button. So what happens is every time I upload a video, it's going to pop right up to your cell phones or, I don't know, it's going to give you some sort of an announcement. And that's like good because it's like the subscription bar, but it works. It actually works. So click the bell, please. Thank you guys. Peace out.